Welcome back to Vinny's Aquatics. We're on a stakeout today. And we're looking for the deadliest aquatic serial killer ever. Nope, not Michael Myers. Not him. Even though this guy had a weird obsession with his sister, which, I don't know, it might be even creepier than the killing he does. And I hear they're making a new one too, a new Halloween for this year, which we all know is going to be terrible because all these new movies are terrible. Friggin' Loomis. Boy, did this guy have a bad. Great actor. But Jesus. Now, I'm not sure if you know this, but the mask used for Michael Myers was actually an inside-out mask from none other than Star Trek great, William Shatner. Look at this guy. This guy can act. He's, he never overacts. This man is a professional. Do me a favor, please. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And share this with your friends. Thank you. Nope. It's not Hannibal Lecter either. Even though he was also a serial killer and a cannibal. Very proud cannibal. It also wasn't the best one in the movie. Come on. This guy was great. Buffalo Bill. Look at him rocking the Guns N' Roses. Tucking it. Tucking it and proud. Would you? And of course, Buffalo Bob. He seemed like a nice guy. Until he started getting a little freaky. And then all of a sudden, he put poor Joe Dirt. He put Joe Dirt in a hole. And of course, everybody remembers the famous scene from the movie Seven. What was in the fish tank? What's in the fish uh, tank? I envy your normal life. Put the gun down, David. It seems that envy is my sin. Oh, what's in the fish tank? What's in the friggin' fish tank? Did you guys know, did, did you know the Jeffrey Dahmer, yeah, I, that creep, did Jeffrey Dahmer had a fish tank? And the one thing I gotta ask is, why is it with all these creepy serial killers, these terrible human beings, did their parents never know? It's like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, He's he just does these things and we had no idea. Just enough, enough. You know your, your kid's a psychopath. Just enough. Stop with that. This is, this, is, this is what Dahmer had to say about his fish tanks. Quote, it was nice with African cichlids and tiger barbs in it and live plants. It was beautifully kept fish tank, very clean. I used to like to just sit there and watch them swim around, basically. I used to enjoy the planning and the setup, the filtration, to read about how to keep the nitrate and ammonia down to safe levels, and just the whole spectrum of fish keeping interested me. I once saw some puffer fish in the store. It's a round fish, and the only ones I ever saw with both eyes in front, like a person's eyes. Oh, that's just, ugh, ugh. And they would come right up to the front of the glass, and their eyes would be crystal blue, like a person's. Real cute. It's a fun hobby. I really enjoyed that fish tank. It's something I really miss. Nice. So, uh, me and a bunch of you have something in common with a serial killer. And next time you're at a party, make sure to tell this story to everybody. Uh, the looks of love on their face after you tell them this. So here we are in the top secret underground fish room. We have our surveillance camera set up and we have a prime suspect. There he is right there. His name is Starry. AKA Puffer. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm real creative with the names. But this guy is a suspect in many disappearances. We believe he's involved in cannibalism and he's a serial killer. Now, because we haven't found any bodies, we can't really build a case on them. But a lot of these fish, they're very young and vulnerable and he took advantage. And unfortunately, 
until we get some evidence, we can't really put them in a fish jail. Are there fish jails? Well, there should be fish jails. Here we have some of his suspected victims. A lot of them are very young. They're very pretty. That seems to be his type. He seems to go for fish that are around his size. They're not, not smaller fish, which is his M.O. But let me tell you what I read about online. Look what it says about this type of fish. It says online, the Stars and Stripes puffer fish is definitely one of the more gentile puffer fish and should be paired with only semi-aggressive fish. Introducing the puffer to triggers is a huge gamble and not something they would recommend. Well, mine, mine killed the trigger, so I don't know what you're talking about there. Okay, I meant, I meant to say gentle, not gentile. I, I have no idea what religion this fish is. But anyway, it says here, although they're not particularly aggressive, they can actually be timid. Stars and Stripes puffers will eat anything they can get to. That includes corals and small tank mates. Larger tank mates should be no problem as long as they're not too aggressive. I call shenanigans on that too. That's completely untrue. I have two of these fish and they're both murderers. This one here, he still has some fish left in his tank and for some reason he doesn't seem to bother them because I guess they're cheap fish. The expensive ones, he just, he just, he's terrible. I found him with a rass's head in his mouth the other night. It really just disgusted me and I wanted to yell at him, but he's just a fish and I don't think you can yell through water. And I'm not sure yet if his other tank mates are in on it with him if they're helping him dispose of the bodies, which is my suspicion, because they, they do have a guilty look about him. So pretty much this tank is going to stay the way it is. I'm not putting anything new in here. I don't care if he ends up being the only one left, then he's the only one left. I guess survival of the fittest or craziest or hungriest. I don't know. I feed him clams. I feed him shrimp. I feed him, I feed him all uh, crabs. I feed this guy all the time. He's always eating. I don't know why he wants to eat his friends that are in a tank with him. Now, as an example, I'm going to show you my other one of these who wiped out everybody in his tank with no remorse. I'm going to show you how he eats, and then you can see how ferocious this animal can be. They can hear the power in his jaws. He's just crushing those pellets. He's just going to town on them. You can also see that I didn't clean the algae off this tank, which I probably should have done before making a video. But what am I gonna do? Look at him, look at him. One of these guys bit my finger. He took a chunk out. It's a voracious. Now this guy, he used to have about four or five other fish in this tank with him before he got so big. I don't know how he got all that weight on. I mean, maybe it was because he ate everything that was in the tank. I mean, he just wiped them all out. So he's the only one in here now, and that's the way that's gonna stay. I don't want any more fish deaths. I can't deal with it, especially because they only eat expensive fish. I can put damsels in there all day long and they just don't care. But you drop something in there with some value, and you know, look, I don't spend that much on my dinner. So I'm not spending that much on a fish's dinner. Look at him, look how he's looking. He's like, he's smooth too. He's got that personality that that Ted Bundy type, like, like he's a charmer before he eats you. These are becoming close to being a closed case file. So if you guys have any information or you seen anything or any of your fish have any information or they know anything, please make a call to the hotline. 1-800-DEAD-FISH. Let them know. All right, my friends, on a serious note, if you're thinking about getting the stars and stripes puffer. Just remember that as they get bigger, they they will wipe out your whole tank. They they say they're semi-aggressive or they're even timid, but they're not. Everything will be just fine for months, many years, and then all of a sudden he hits a certain size, and that's it. That you look at him the wrong way, and it's on. Okay, I've lost too many fish 
with both of these. I'm not trying to put anything with them anymore. They can live by themselves if they have to. Seems that's what they want to do. So I hope you guys learn. Be careful with your big puffers. It says they're community. It says they're timid. And I say they're full of it. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time on Vinny's Aquatics. And have a great day.